everybody. In this video, what we're going to talk about is how to interpret the regression coefficients when we're using Poisson regression or if we're using a, a log link on the parameter of interest. So let's suppose we're in that sort of Poisson regression situation and what we're looking at is what factors are affecting the, the Poisson mean, um, which I'm going to call lambda. Okay, so we've got lambda and that's our, our average rate, so maybe this is a count. So it's the average count for the, the thing of interest. And if we're doing regression, then this rate parameter is assumed to vary between different um, sampling units. So what we, we tend to do with things like Poisson regression is that we model this rate parameter as a function of covariates, and we do so on the log scale. So we have a regression equation that looks something like this. So we have log lambda uh, varies by location, so I just using to index different locations or different sample units. And then we'll have an sort of intercept term, which I'll call beta naught. And suppose we just have one predictive variable here of interest, which I'll call x. Um, so then we have beta 1 x i. So, so beta naught is my intercept term, and beta 1 is the effect of that covariate x on our rate parameter on the log scale. So what we do is we then analyze the data and we'll come out with estimates of, of beta naught and beta one. And if beta one is negative, that suggests that our, our count will be lower as that value of x increases. So it's a negative effect. If beta one is positive, then that suggests that our rate parameter will increase as the value of the covariate increases as well. So we could try and interpret the effect of, of beta one, sorry, the effect of x, uh, which, is, which is beta one, on the, the log scale. An alternative way of doing it though, is to think about it um, on a, a sort of, on the raw scale, on the effect scale of the actual rate parameter itself, instead of the log scale. And to do that, just want to note a couple of things. So if we rearrange this equation, so instead of talking about log lambda, let's talk about actual lambda. Well, we just take the exponential from, of both sides. So e to the beta naught plus beta 1 xi. Re remember that e is just a number. That's around about 2.72. Okay, so don't get too uh, panicky about that. And using some rules for exponentials, we were sort of adding the sort of powers together. That's equivalent to multiplying the, the sort of individual components together. So that's equivalent to saying e to the, the beta naught times e to the beta one xi. Now, what I'm saying with this equation is that one way of interpreting these effect size, instead of doing it on an additive, additive scale, like we do on the log scale here, when we re-express it, what we actually have here is we can interpret our regression coefficients on a multiplicative scale. And what we're saying is that if we take this term here, e to the beta 1, that is a sort of multiplicative effect of our regression coefficient. So if x i equals zero, then that whole term there becomes zero, and anything to the power of zero is just one. So we end up with so the exponential of beta naught. So that's kind of our sort of base um, rate for when that covariate is, is, is zero. And then for every unit increase in that covariate value, what happens is that we take that base value and we'll multiply it by this amount, e to the beta 1. So one way of interpreting the effect of the covariate is instead of doing it on the beta scale, we can take the exponential of that beta scale and interpret, interpret it that way. And so what does that look like in practice? Well, let's suppose that beta 1 equals 0.5. So I'll just do it up here. If beta 1 equals 0 0.5, that's our estimated value, 
what that implies is that e to the beta 1 equals 1.65. So what that means is that for every one unit increase in that covariate x, our Poisson rate parameter is going to increase on a multiplicative scale, so it's going to increase by a factor of 1.65. So if our rate parameter is, is 2, then for every one unit increase in that covariate value, we're going to multiply that base value by 1.65. So where x is 0, that value might be 2. Where x is 1, that rate parameter will be 2 times 1.65, so it will be, what's that, 3.3. And so we can interpret the effect of that covariate on this sort of scale here, and this is a, like a multiplicative scale. Another way of thinking about it is instead of just a, a straight multiplicative scaling factor, we can talk about it in terms of like a percentage increase. So if we look at this, 1.65, that means you know, it's 165%. So we could say that this is equivalent to saying, or, or sorry, another way of expressing this, is that for this covariate, for every time it increases by one unit, then our rate parameter will increase by another 65%. Alternative, alternatively, suppose beta uh, one equals negative 0.5. then our interpretation of that would be 0.61. Okay, so that's suggesting that as the value of x increases, then our rate parameter will actually decrease by a factor of 0.61. Well, alternatively, that's a, a percentage drop of 39%. And of course, if beta 1 equals 0, then, so if beta 1 equals 0, e to the beta 1, whoops, beta 1 will equal 1. So this be the original value times 1, so that means, of course, that that covariate has no effect. So there you go, I hope you found that useful. Uh, so the idea here is that instead of interpreting our regression coefficients for Poisson regression or whenever we're using the log link on the sort of additive raw scale of our regression equation, what we can do is interpret it on the scale of sort of an exponential scale. And there, what we're talking about is the effect of a covariate and a sort of scalar multiplicative uh, effect on the item of interest, in this case, a, a Poisson mean. There you go. I hope you found that useful. Until next time, see you later.